Hi folks, this is question eight. So for the median, what you can do is put them in order first. Now they're in order already in the table pretty much, but um, you might want to put them in order here in a straight line just to make it slightly easier to cross them off. So median is middle number anyway. So when we've got them like that, then we can cross them off. So that's the smallest one, that's the biggest one. Next smallest, next biggest, next smallest, next biggest. And we keep going till we get one or two in the middle. And now we get two in the middle. So we have the same amount crossed off on both sides. And we get two in the middle. So that's so when you get two in the middle, you add them together and divide by two. So that will end up being 59. Or you can see already that it's 59 anyway because 59 is halfway between 58 and 60. So 59 is the median. The second part asks us, so it says, um, yeah, it's asking us if the mean and mode are the same or are different. Well, we can see that the mode is 63 because the mode means most common, but 63 is the biggest value that's in it, it's in the, the list of numbers anyway. So therefore the mean has to be smaller. So mode is most common. So the mean has to be smaller. So something along those lines or what you could do as well is you could just work out what the mode is and work out what the mean well you know the mode is 63 so just, just write down that the mode is 63 and then work out what the mean is and that's just proven then that they're different right so for part c it's using so it's sin cos and tan so we have to look for at 57 here so all, all we have to do for this bit is just write down what uh, tan 57 is so tan is the opposite over the adjacent so tan equals opposite over adjacent therefore the opposite in this is the x and the adjacent is the 4 so you're only focusing on, on focusing on that triangle there that blue triangle so the rest of it is irrelevant for that part of the question then use your calculator to work, find what tan of 57 is and you have to round it to two decimal places as well. So you should get 1.54 there. So you're just pressing tan button on the calculator and then uh, just put in the number 57 and it should give you 1.54. Then use his measurements to work out that x is roughly 6.16 so we know that tan of 57 is x over 4 so therefore all we need to do to get x by itself is to move the 4 over to the other side and because it's being divided there we're going to multiply it on the other side so all we have to do is do 4 multiply tan 57 and that's it you get that'll give you your final answer so x is 6.16 and then they ask us to give the total the height the total height of the school so x is 6.16 we know that that part there is 6.16 so we have to add it on to the 1.42 then so by adding those two together it gives us the height of the whole thing so 6.12 Sorry, 6.16 plus 1.42. And we should get 7.58. And that's meters. So that's all then for that question.